Welcome to the Jamoti Podcast. We are all surrounded by amazing coaches and leaders. So let's get an inside look at not just what they do, but how they do what they do. After all, becoming the best versions of ourselves is Jamoti, just a matter of doing it. Coaches, the Jamoti Podcast is powered by Bology. Manage and measure your player's skill development and increase accountability year-round utilizing the Bology app. Boost inter-squad competition with drills backed by the National High School Basketball Coaches Association, including a 40-shot Bology skills assessment. Please visit Bology.com slash teams for information on how you can provide this resource for your team. The the statistics don't lie, right? I mean, and, and it doesn't mean <clears throat> that you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're not working hard. You know, you can go into the gym and make 500 threes a day, but if if and when you get in the game and you shoot, you know, 12 percent, man, 12 percent is not very good. You, you've got to do better. And until you um, get to the point where you can make 35 to 45 percent of those, it, it just doesn't make sense for you to shoot a whole bunch. I had a young man um, last year when I was the coach at Corpus Christi started off the season. Oh, uh, I want to say who either 0 for 12 from the three or maybe even like one for 16 yet when you look at his statistics in practice and he shot a high volume of them he was 41 42 43 percent and i kept telling people don't think he can't shoot he is a good shooter um you know he's a freshman once he adjusts to the game and the speed of the game he's going to be fine and in the conference tournament championship to go to the ncaa tournament after we've lost arguably one of our best players, our point guard, the young man hits three, four or five threes, Mm. you know, and the announcers kept saying um, in the broadcast, apparently like, well, he doesn't shoot a good percentage, but it's his day. And, you know, I just kept thinking in my mind and saying in my mind, he's going to, the laws of averages are going to, they're going to even out at some point. He shot it way too well um, in practice in a competitive environment against other talent for him not to make shots here at some point and luckily for us it was that day that's a good day I I love that you brought that up because that that happens more often I feel like than people realize you know we see our players every day in practice we and we play a lot of shooting games we chart those so I, I get to see them shoot fast and with pressure which those two things, in my opinion, lead to more makes in games if you practice that way. But that's an incredible story of a guy that was struggling, but then near the end, he just he kept at it, kept shooting, and and he had a great day. But I think the question comes down to confidence. When he is struggling in that time, when he's starting to doubt himself or others, I think a big part of his success at the end has to do with you and your staff. So what are some things in that like that kind of situation that you do to help a player's confidence stay up when, golly, one for 16, it's hard for the doubt not to creep in? Sure. And luckily, this this young man didn't have a a huge conscience, so he he didn't think about it a whole bunch. He was he was uh, pretty confident in himself. But, uh, uh, you know, number one, I, I just talked to them about the work. Right. And you have to put in the work outside of the game. You have to put in the work outside of practice. And uh, one of the pillars of our program is that we make 300 shots a day. Every Mm. single person makes 300 shots a day. So, um, you know, he was continuing to, to get his 300 in every day. He was continuing to make those shots in practice. And in practice, I did not talk to him a whole lot about uh, shot selection I just talked to him about taking good shots and in rhythm and in flow in a game. I would talk to him a more, a little bit more about maybe getting a layup or a dunk first, getting a tip in, um, you know, getting out in transition, getting your confidence up, getting, you know, feeling good about yourself before you start launching 25 footers, you know, cause the worst thing, and he was coming off the bench, the worst thing he could do would be to come into the game and the first time the ball gets swung yeah. to him, been in for 20 seconds, he shoots one from 25 feet, you know, then my patience goes, goes through the roof. Um, and, and so, you know, I, I just talked to him about get into the flow of the game. And then once you're set and you have a good shot, shoot it. But, you know, if you can go get you a layup or a dunk or put back uh, those sorts of things, it, it just helps you feel better about yourself and let your confidence get, get, uh, get higher. 
Yeah, you use that word flow, one of my favorite words. I think that's a huge, a huge feeling for a player is whether they're a starter coming off the bench, they want to find their flow. But you and I both know, like they don't have a lot of time to do that. So I love the fact that you're talking about other things besides knocking down or shooting that first open shot to get their flow. When you see just a, a guy, they're doing everything right. Confidence is starting to tank. They're taking those shots. They're getting in the flow. They're taking those shots in games, though, that they, they should take and you feel good about, but they're still missing. Anything else that you can that you try to do to get inside besides just it's not your night, taking them out? What are your thoughts there? Um, Again, I, I just, you know, I, I try and tell them, go get you an easy one, right? Go get you, you know, and, and, and it's hard to turn down open shots. But for the good of the team, if that's what you have to do in that current situation, then you got to turn down one maybe and, and, and maybe drive it to the rim and see if you can't get fouled and, and get to the free throw line. Um, <clears throat> but it, I always try to just make sure that they're confident. I, I don't very seldomly will I ever tell a guy like you cannot shoot. Um, you know, because it's too hard in at any level, but especially in, in my mind at the division one level, it's too hard to get an open shot. And so mm -hmm. when you have an open shot, you have to be ready to shoot. You have to be confident and you have to know that, Hey, I've put the work in now. I'm going to, I'm going to hit this shot and knock it down. Coach, I want to apologize for that. That last question, because you got to love when people basically ask you the same thing twice in a row. <laughs> <laughs> and the moment that I said it, you were giving your answer. I was like, that's the same thing I just asked him. So no we, we can't get those two minutes back, but that I'll be better. Thank you for checking out today's episode. Please take a moment to subscribe to this podcast, share it with your fellow coaches, and find us on social media for what's coming up next on the Jamoti podcast. It's just a matter of doing it.